Yodi. We're waiting for our driver. His name is Wa Yodi. I think it's a really like philosophical question. I mean, why Yodi? You know, it could be anyone else. What are you doing, Wa Yodi? I don't know. But what are we doing right now? Going to the mall to get something special. Holy nuts, another big mall. A Robinson supermarket. It's only one Robinson though. Ah, uh, not Robinsons. Why has everybody got that fracking name? <laughs> Where the heck are the Robinsons coming from? Well, they have a KFC and a Starbucks. That's all I know. KFC part two. Let's go. There's a special little logo right there. <laughs> it's also right here. So I didn't have to tickle it over there. Jayco. Yeah. Jayco. That's, that's where we're going. Let's go. Welcome to Jayco. Um, there's a fly in the donuts already. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand sometimes so far in Asia sometimes they like don't have they like don't close it So like bugs and ants can get in because they don't close it and in Asia a lot of it is tropical So that means there's lots of bugs, but let's get some Jacob. Hopefully it tastes yummy. Wow, that's a lot of donuts <laughs> That is a lot of donuts. Look at this is our nice little seat here. Let me just show you guys how massive this place is so That's where you order stuff over there. Then there's uh, indoor seating. There's some outdoor seating behind the glass over there more seating here than another little bakery thing connected to it and a biscuit boy right here hi i got a little nook over here and i'm ready to nook this thing up don't worry i got my cranny over here you got a nook and a cranny heck yeah dude so yeah we're trying at jayco famous indonesian donut frozen yogurt and like coffee place basically did we get a coffee no did i get a frappe yes as we like to try lots of different things for these videos we got the package that suits that need the best. Oh. Wow, that's like every kind of donut you could fry. One, two, for. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're gonna try every single type of donut at Jayco. <laughs> we actually tried this for the first time in the Philippines. We did. So is it the same or is it different? It's in the home country now. The home country. Everything's different when it's on home field. Where the frag is my blueberry frappe? Okay, welcome to Jacob. Uh, we actually got a free donut, which is a pretty epic. Yeah, just thank threw you. It in there. Thank you guys so much. And uh, like we showed, every single flavor that we could get in a box. I'm gonna try my frappe first. The blueberry frappe. A blueberry flavor is not usually a common flavor that we've seen in Asia so far. They don't really have the berries other than the strawberries. Let's try it. Ooh, that is very blueberry -y. Whoa. That is pretty dang good, actually. It's really sweet. It's really cold. And the blueberry flavor really comes through. It like tastes like real blueberries. I got just like a solo portion of it, and it came with a topping of my choice, and they had peaches, and I haven't had peaches in a long time. And you know, I really, I get them down in Georgia. Where do you get your weed? I, from California. Oh, sick, dude. All right, let's try this. This is one of the random, the few things that they special specialize in. Whoa, it's very sweet and extremely creamy too. Oh, and it's got a great flavor to it. I love that. That is so good. Epic for you. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> All right, it's time for the Jayco. Are you prepared? Oh yeah, get a slurp, get a slurp. It's an unreasonable amount of donuts we're about to consume, but we have to do it for science. We got two of each so we can try them at the, at the same time, which is perfect. Here's the unreasonable amount of donuts we have in question. It's a lot of donuts. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is possibly their most famous one. But what about the normal donut? We're gonna start with that. And this was our freebie, and it was one that we didn't get, so it's time to try. Dink it and sink it. Mm hmm. Ooh. Wow, that's a really nice glaze, actually. Oh, okay. Well, it's that's really tasty. It's definitely much different than a normal glazed donut. Yeah, it has a very unique flavor to it, actually. Wow, that's good. I really like that. That's really good. That's a lot different than anything I've had donut wise. Oh, that is surprising. Even I, 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 I expected a glazed donut, and I, I, 
I got it, and I also got something else, too. I got something more. Whoa. It's Jayco. Their motto is, not just a glazed donut, but something more. more. That's a really cool motto. That is really cool. I appreciate that motto. Shout out to the Jayco. The, yeah. the J. J, thank you so much. Now let's get into our 3,000 donuts. Dun, 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 dun. I will let you pick two first. We're, we're going to start on the bottom right corner, right here, with Little Strawberry Boy. Hey, Mr. Strawberry Boy. <laughs> We're gonna have to clear this whole box. This is our dinner, I guess, for today. We'll see. I, I guess don't know. How many we might, we might get some more food. Three donuts each? That's not that one. No. Pink. Oh, wait, the, the frosting is really like oh. sticky, and you have to chew through it. It's got like an interesting texture, actually. Mm -hmm. It has that like very, oh. very like strawberry milky almost. It's like a strawberry candy was melted yeah. on top of it. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, we have to rank all of these since we're doing It's like a Rhett and Link episode. Uh, out of 100? Yeah, out of 100. I'm going to give that... I don't know... 72. I don't know where to rank them because these are Jayco donuts. Yeah, I'll throw it. I was thinking like, yeah, around a 70. I'll do a 72 as well. Let's try zebra cake version. And we got the bites because just like this. How easy is that to taste test? Zebra. <laughs> I think that's the sound of zebra makes. Wow, oh, the chocolate is very like milk chocolatey. Like, that's pretty good. It tastes it's like a, candy. It's surprisingly strong in there too. It like that's of, really chocolatey actually. It tastes like a Kit Kat. That's like the kind of chocolate I'm getting. It's like Kit Kat chocolate. Oh yeah, it kind of does. I like that one. 77. I like it slightly less. 71. Now we have one that looks like it has cereal on it. Uh, I thought it was Duker Turds. Duker Turds. Looks like Capybara droppings. Happy bars dropped on our donut? That is so fracking epic. Cereal. Mm -hmm. Tastes like stale cereal. It is stale cereal, I think. It's they're really like squishy, like stale cereal. I'm gonna give that one a um not my favorite thing. 55. Uh 63. Looks like the art. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got the chocolate boy McFlogger pants. One thing we have to remember is we have to keep it objective. We can't hate them more the more full we get. Yes, yes, very We're gonna true. try our best. I'll we'll try our best. Here we go, Oreo wait, boy. Wait, wait, give me oh, two yeah. seconds. Okay, Oreo boy. Mm. Yeah, have something inside. Yeah. A little cream. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I really like that one. That's pretty good. I really like that one. What's your rating? 82. 82, wow. I think I'm going to give it a 71. A little nervous about the Shrek uh, collab they did here with this donut. You know, onions and ogres have something in common. They have layers. Yeah. And, uh... Did I be sold? What do ogres and onions have in common? Or, I don't know, uh, Shrek. Get out, be sold. Is that matcha? Yes. Still really sweet, but... It is really sweet. It doesn't taste bad, I mean... I think it's my least favorite. Least favorite. I'm gonna give it a 50. 62. Oh gosh, this is getting hard already. This is the palate cleanser, more sweetness. Ah, I need the palate cleanser too. Now we know what Rhett and Link go through every day. <laughs> we relate, even though this is nowhere near as much as what they go through. They do through. like 40 things. <laughs> the famous almonds one, or whatever the practice thing they is? They call it like Al Pacino or something. I don't know if it's actually Al Pacino. It has some name like that. Almond Pacino? Oh. Uh, what does he say? What does he say? You want blood rough? Tell okay. me, I'm a, say Thanks. hello to my little friend. Pop, pop, pop. I don't know. He's in gangster movies. Huh? Ooh, uh, the frosting on top Ooh. is good. The nuts on top, whatever it is, an almond. You get the nice soft crunches in there. The crunches is nice. I really do like that one. It's pretty mild. Nothing that'll punch you in the face. Which <laughs> feels great right now. Mm. That's good. I like the subtleness of the cream on that one. It's pretty good. I'm going to give that an 85. I'm going to give it a... 77. We're gonna be so zooped up after this and then crash. Go right down to here. I don't know what the frack this is supposed it to be. It looks like it would be like another Oreo one, but we already had an Oreo one. Oh no, it's coffee. Uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you guys right now, I don't think this is one's gonna rate very high, but who knows. We're being objective. Again, very sweet oh, still. Oh no, it really comes in with bitter at once you get it. Oh yeah. I did frosting down. Oh yeah, it's strong. It really fills your mouth, the aroma. Oh wow, that is coffee -y. 35. I would never get that again and I do not like it. I'd give it like a 57, I think. It's not great. Not good. No, no, no. 
no, no. Definitely no. need to wash it. No, no, no. Yuck. Okay. Something that's very popular in uh, Indonesia. Chocolate, Chocolate sprinkles. sprinkles. Look at that. It's like a birthday cake. It's, uh, it's my birthday. Basic. Chocolate sprinkles. Tastes good. The bread is nice. The if, chocolate is chocolatey. If you really want a description on how this tastes, it tastes like a bready donut with chocolate sprinkles on it. It does. So. A little chocolate like icing on there as well. That's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty. i give it a 67. I would get it again. I'm going to give it a 69. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> is this matcha with almonds? Yes. Or it's like maybe pistachio. A pistachio. I don't know. Hey, what... a pistachio with a pistachio. I once got a pistachio pasta, a pistachio pesto in Italy. No, Croatia. And it was so nutty. I didn't. I could not finish it. It was just like <laughs> so strong. I was like, I can't eat this much mashed up nuts. It's just too. Let's see. Oh, I don't. There's something in there I'm not liking. Oh, why is it like flavor? a fish? Whatever it is, it tastes like fish to me. What is going on? I'm very confused. I might like this one less than the coffee one. Oh, I really hate that. I'm like really? almost, I'm like almost gagging. It tastes like fish to me. I do not get that at all. It's got like a weird hint of like yogurt oh. almost to me. Oh, I do not taste any yogurt. I'm gonna give that a ten. To me, it just tasted similar to the nut one before, with like a bit of yogurt almost. But I don't know if it was actually yogurt. I'd give it. Oh. Uh, 65. Maybe I just had a rotten nut on there or something. You could have. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. It really tasted bad. All right, we're going to go with Homer Simpson's was, favorite. <laughs> do. Do. I don't. I would do louder, but I can't. Homer Simpson. Uh, Bart, we should choke each other out. Because... <laughs> Strawberry. Strawberry donut. With sprinkles. The sprinkles make it better. So 74. What did I give the last one? 72? I'm going to give it a 74 as well. Oh gosh, my stomach definitely hurts. I'm doing all right still. I'm going to say we go look, find whatever flavors we didn't get, and also eat those. Uh, Whole donuts, though. But obviously each get our own like we're doing right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. Give all right. Me, give me uh, five seconds. Stretch it out, Matt Stoney it a bit. Come on, beard meets food ate 20 pieces of cake. <laughs> Not as good as him, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm ready to move into the uh, YouTube challenge eating career. I think we can do it. We did I, a shawarma eating challenge in India, so I think we're ready. And we did it in Georgia, and that's, uh, and we did it in the Philippines. We're eating so many track and challenge videos now, we're good. This one looks like a Boston cream, but I don't know if there's going to be any custard inside of it. So it might just be chocolate, let's see. Nice smooth chocolate on top. Oh. This is nice, it's like a candy bar top, but it's pretty good. I don't see Pretty any, simple. I really don't see much of a difference between that and the other candy bar chocolate one. No. So whatever I gave that one, I'm gonna give this one as well, but I don't remember what it was. I agree. I don't remember what it was either, so I'm just gonna give it a 63. I feel like no, I, 71. I feel like I gave it above the strawberry one. I don't remember though. 77, all right. And now, last but not least, another chocolate one with chocolate balls. They actually, I think online they call it caviar. Oh yeah, they do. We got this one in the Philippines, actually. I remember the caviar uh, donuts in the Philippines. Okay. Touch caviars and consume. <laughs> oh, I like the way they pop like that. They're like, mm. It's like a Rice Krispie almost. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Texture. That's this cool. one's really chocolatey. Really chocolatey. I like this one, though. Definitely the most chocolatey one. The chocolateiness is really coming through at the it's end. It's hard. We just had so much chocolate and so much sweet. I want to give it lower, but I think it deserves higher. I'm trying to be objective. Have so to I be think, objective. I think it deserves a 78. Uh, what, what did I give the last chocolate one? I think that might be my favorite chocolate one because of the balls on top. The caviar just made me feel fancy. I mean, I just love balls. You do love balls. 81. So that was our Jayco ranking. I have no clue what I gave any of them at this point. I just forgot all. I don't remember what my favorite was. We, we're we not good Mythical Morning. We don't have like a team counting yeah. all of ours and then they can tell us what are our top ones. I think my best one was the almond one. I believe it was. I think I gave that an 85. I don't remember what I gave the best one. The Oreo one I think might have been my highest one. So 
what is the best donut at Jayco? That's our opinion. How about you? <laughs> Let us if know. If you've ever had Jayco. In the comments below. And if it's that green one with the nuts. Uh, I don't know what the heck that was, but I hated it. Maybe something was, mon maybe a fly puked on my donut. I don't I know what happened. Really it though. tasted so bad. You know what I think it's time for? I think I want some brownies. It's a bakery right there, dude. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. Thank you, let's go. I'm kind of stuck in here. This is our epic setup we got going. Hey. <laughs> They have a dog park, I think. That is epic. I don't see anybody with dogs and strollers. Are we not in Manila anymore? I haven't seen like anyone with any pets. Are there no pets in Indonesia? Look at that, CFC. Can you tell me what the CFC stands for? Carolina Fried Chicken. Actually, it's California Fried Chicken. I looked it up because I was curious because we were like, we saw it in Malaysia and we were like, what the heck? Is that like a KFC ripoff? Well, kind of. Yeah. But, uh, it's an Indonesian chain, I think it said, so we're trying it today, just a bit, because we just ate an unhumanly amount of Jayco donuts. I was hardcore craving for something salty, so we're just getting a small section of salty things on the menu. Why for I could not. Uh, and then after this, we're going to have to go get some uh, water, because we're going to be very thirsty. I'm already thirsty as nuts. Heck yeah, dude. The CFC has arrived, look at that. It's orange. They should call, call these the Donald Trump uh, chicken strips. I think that might be your finest joke you've ever made. <laughs> okay, uh, why are these orange and these are normal colors? I don't know. It's a, interesting to say the least. These onion rings look very unique. They are hot as crap. Onion ring. Crunchy. Really crunchy. Oh, they're good. This is like good quality onion rings. Here's the thing with onion rings. You have them where they're kind of soggy, the outside isn't great, and maybe the inside there's in like a, a good hunk of onion in there. Or sometimes the outside is beautiful and crunchy, and then the inside is like there's not even an onion inside, it's just like mush. That's how fast food onion rings usually are. These, they're crunchy on the outside, but there's still the onion on the inside. Are you fracking kidding me right this now? This revolutionary technology we're getting at CFC. Burger King versus these onion rings? These win. Easy, look. There's an onion in there. There's a fracking onion in there. Burger King onion Don't rings? Don't have an onion. No, it's just like onion mush. I'm very impressed by these orange things. I feel like I'm in Halloween and I'm like a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I don't I want to do an evil laugh, but there's like people are right next to us and there's a kid behind you that might get very scared and I already did a weird laugh and I'm sure they're already like uh, what are these people doing here? <laughs> chicken poppers, right? Yeah, chicken poppers or pops or something. This is pretty cheap I mean this was like 19 and these were 11. This was 25 And that's a decent amount. You actually got as much onion rings or one less onion ring than I did for ordering a whole thing of onion rings. I should have just got that. I would have got four or less chicken pops, but I would have got chicken strips. Dang nabbit. Oh wow, those are very, very hot. Uh, you can eat your chicken strips if those aren't hot. They definitely are a bit, but look at that. It's like just a long chicken fry. If you saw that, would you expect it to be a chicken strip? No, not at all. I don't know what I would expect this to be, honestly. It kind of looks like a like pakora type fry It does thing. look like a pakora. Oh, whoa. Super hot? Oh, oh no. Maybe you should have tried an onion ring. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, the chicken is a really unique flavor. It looks gnarly. What is that? It's definitely like the old the, like chicken goop stuff, I think. It's weird. So if that's in the strip, then what the heck's in the in the balls? Definitely more goopier. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. How do you I like the fry? It. The fry is good. It's really crunchy in some parts and it's really soft in other parts, which is unique. I, I wanna get a bite possibly when it's uh, not blazing hot. Interesting. Pretty tasty, I like yeah. it. They're so fried. Everything here is very fried. They just made sure that everything is crunchable and tastes like salt. 
Oh, my stomach does not feel good after all that Jayco, I gotta admit. <laughs> Don't eat a whole box of Jayco and get a free donut and a frappe and a yogurt or you will not feel good. But we did it for you. So you don't need to try every type. We did this for you. Because we love you. You're welcome. How are the chicken pops going? We can pop them together. Mine are still very hot. Mine are kind of too. Burn it. Can that cross that come? Huh? Oh, oh. It tastes pretty good. Yeah, those are good. It's like ones you can get in the US. Very salty outside. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Squishy chicken on the inside. Slightly better than oven ones. Yeah, not bad. Having a little uh, seasoning on the outside too. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Not a bad little chicken pop here. Not a little bad little snack spot for CFC. Uh -uh. Pretty dang cheap. California fried chicken. <laughs> CFC, easy quick snack. Pretty dang good. And we got to use a wash to fell. Yeah, it's the mountain in Iceland. And we climbed it, and they just got a whole big food court up here. And now, since uh, sometimes grabs can be a little frackers sometimes, and they don't like that the street down here, you have to go all the way past our hotel and then turn back around, they'll probably cancel us like three times before somebody finally picks us up. And it only uh, saves us like a few minutes, 10 minutes. We're just gonna walk back. Wish us luck. Sometimes the uh, sidewalks can be a little scary. And it's nighttime, we might die. At night? At night. Oh, whoa. There's a whole, there's a whole market over there. Yeah. Uh, if we were, we're not hungry, like, at all. So I don't know if this uh, market would be a good place to go, but you know what? There's one here. Wow, look at that. Whoa, it's like a, it's a fish market. Weird. I was not expecting this. It's literally like a an outdoor fish store, pet shop. <laughs> literally. What is that? I don't even know what some of this stuff is. Some koi? Wow, interesting. That was about the last thing I expected to walk up upon. A giant outdoor uh, pet store. It's, that is crazy. It's literally, I mean, walking through the like small lanes is literally exactly like going to a fish store in the US. Just, it's outside. And they have like the same type of fish that you would get there sometimes. Crazy, I did not expect that. And then they also just have like street vendors for that. Yeah. That's interesting. It's really cool. I remember seeing on Google something about an animal pet market next to that. And I was like, oh, it's dark now. I'm sure that'll be closed. It's popping. It's popping. I mean, they can glow up the water. It makes it look way cooler, all the fish. It's a really lively street right now. There's a lot of cars on the road. There's a lot of people on the bus stop. They just have like stalls all on this side. What an interesting place. I think if this video wasn't themed around Jayco, we could officially call it Jakarta, the area the tourists don't go. The most bizarre pet shop in the world. What? We can make a YouTube short about it. You guys ready? Here's how it's gonna go. Today when I was walking around the streets of Indonesia, we saw a pet store and you won't believe where it was. Oh, it's a little scarier. Why did this just get creepy? Things just got creepy. Walking the streets of Jakarta at night? It's interesting that this is just on the highway. Usually something like this happens in the neighborhoods, not right next to the highway. 
The parking lot right there? If this was in the US, we'd be in extreme danger right now. We would. I mean, we could be right now. We don't even know. Yeah, we might be idiots. That's happened before where we like go to places and then people are like, wow, you went there? I would never go there. And we're like, oh. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Huh. We didn't know that. But we're next to a highway. We just came out of a mall. There's a frack ton of people here. We're probably good. It is really crazy in Jakarta. They just set up the shops everywhere, whether it's on the back of their bikes or whether it's on some push carts, they will roll it wherever they know the people will be and they will set up shop. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've been to a new country, kind of like uh, Indonesia, where the things that happen on the street and the things that happen like at night like this are so interesting to us and different than we expect. It's been a while since then. I mean, we went to Korea and I mean, Korea is it's not as shocking, I guess, as something like that is like a street side fish market and just people just rolling up on the side of the highway to sell set up shops. It's really cool. I'm having a good time in Jakarta. probably the most unsafe we've been tonight. Yes, definitely. Our chances of dying were the highest right there. But yeah, we're just walking this highway. We'll be... That was a shadow. I thought it was a cat. We'll be back at our hotel soon. J. Cole was pretty dang tasty. It was dang tasty. Uh, don't eat that many of them if you want to enjoy it as much. No. But it's good. The frappe, the blueberry frappe was very good. Their yogurt was surprisingly good. Their donuts are tasty. That glazed donut was pretty good, honestly. Was that a roacher? Yeah. He's avoiding the roachers. Us Minnesota boys are scared of the roaches. I wonder if they crawl out of here. Yeah, they have. Dang cockroaches. Can't escape them in uh, Southeast Asia. But the cockroaches are part of the experience. Another way you can tell that there are not many foreign tourists here is based off the length of how long people stare at us when we walk by. You mean like this? And like this? We are just two random white guys walking on the side of the highway. That's I probably... Would, I would stare at us too. That's probably not very common. Probably not common at all. And we're weird. And sometimes we do this. <laughs> you think that guy was staring? He's looking. <laughs> Run! He's probably charging us with a knife right now. And we can't even tell because it's so loud. Then we then we just turn around and do it do that to him again. <laughs> I'm not afraid to die! <laughs> a cat! Hey Buckaroo! What are you doing, Buckarooner? Hey buddy! I hope you find your dad! I love when we do weird things and we don't know people around. <laughs> you just walk around a corner and then there's a person. That definitely heard what we just did. <laughs> Is that our hotel? Uh, probably. Maybe, no, it's right there. I see it. We can go to this Indo Mart and get some fracking water because I'm extra thirsty now from talking and kind of yelling because it's so loud. Indo Mart! Indo Mart! Yeah! 